Hello children, good morning. This is going to be the last session of this week on antonyms for UPC GATT English examination. Today in the last session on antonyms, we are going to learn some of the tricks by which you can identify very easily the antonyms. We are going to have two practice sessions today. And we are going to discuss the answers of these questions. So first you attempt them and then after that find out their answers. So let's start the session on antonyms. Now let us see the easy tips and tricks to solve synonyms and antonyms. Now first of all you look at the picture there. There's a base word. What is the base word there? happy. What part of speech it belongs to? Adjective. So in the bracket it is written ADJ. Now let us see its antonyms. Sad, unhappy, displeased. Synonyms joyful, blissful, delighted. Definition and feeling pleasure and enjoyment because of your life, situation, etc. Showing or causing feeling of pleasure and enjoyment. Then word family happiness, happy. Happiness is noun, happily is adverb. What you can do is you can draw like these pictures and then it will be easier for you to remember synonyms as well as antonyms. Now let's see some more uh, tricks here. Initially divide the word into two parts. Suffix and prefix. Now in the case of happy word, unhappy. What is un? Un is prefix. And then happiness, ness, suffix. So you remember here the prefix and suffix. Try to identify the meaning of the word and evaluate whether it has a positive, negative or neutral meaning. If you and un is there, then definitely it will be negative. Displeased, D-I-S is there, it will be negative. So you have to identify whether it's a positive or negative. Then definitely it will be easier for you to find out its antonym or synonym. Segregate the words from the choices that come up with a negative effect as well as those which have positive impact or meaning. If it is asked to find the meaning of the positive word, it will become much easier to relate the word with the available positive options. If positive word is there, if it's synonym, look for the positive option. If it's a positive word, look for negative option. If it's an antonym, which you have to find out. On the other hand, the case with antonyms is different. If it is requested or question to identify the contrary of a word that has a positive meaning, then its opposite will be one of the terms from the given possibilities which has a negative meaning. However, if the meaning of any word from the available option is not clear, then the choices can be narrowed down to almost half. The above tip is helpful for the words whose meaning is not known to you. Now let's see one example here. Find the opposite of the below word. Fraudulent. Now fraud, you are familiar with the word fraud, fraudulent. You have to find out whether it is related to that. Candid, direct, fortnight, genuine. These are the options. And what you have to find out? You have to find out the antonym. Now here the correct answer will be genuine. Now looking at the given options, the only possible word that contributes to the given word is option D. Other words does not give the same meaning as candid means to be real and unknown. Similarly, fortnight and direct also do not fit in the 
context now we are going to uh, practice on antonyms so it's going to be practice set number three on antonyms autonomous magnanimous ambiguous exiguous dependent operational baffle make way thwart confuse check substitute blight joyless gain disposition light hearted generosity cheerfulness brazen bold made of brass made of copper insolent shy churlish boorish coarse courteous niggardly modest extravagant developing wonderful disappearing economical real desultory disconnected lacking order pertinent random frequent debonair awkward windy balmy sportive stormy ecstasy rapture beatitude exaltation oily misery embellish garnish disfigure adorn disarm perish euphoria student lethargy literary significant musical exhilarate gladden invigorate shabbily inspiring the praise assume decipher dig integrate admit enter exalt noble glorify extol depreciate simplify extrinsic reputable inherent swift ambitious cursory now let us see the answers for practice set number 3 on antonyms answer for the first one autonomous so for autonomous the antonym will be dependent because exiguous means very small in size magnanimous very generous ambiguous not very clear baffle baffle so the synonym is confused but we have to look for the opposite word and thought what is thought means to prevent to obstruct so here for baffle the antonym will be a make way blight blight cheerful now remaining all they all synonyms they come closer to the meaning of that only one word which is opposite in meaning is joyless a joyless gain disposition very happy in nature let's take up the fourth word brazen and what is a brazen means very bold so synonym bold is given there or without shame that's a brazen 
insolent insolent that also means very rude arrogant so the only antonym will be shy churlish the answer is courteous because churlish means what very rude and boorish bad mannered rough coarse rough niggardly miserly modest so the right answer will be courteous very mannered courteous having courtesy extravagant a spend thrift extravagant so the opposite of that will be economical desultory what does desultory means desultory means lacking plan or purpose purposeless so the word pertinent which means apt suitable so that's a opposite word debonair not debonair very stylish very confident cultured so awkward will be opposite word what does balmy mean balmy means pleasant weather pleasant conditions and windy sporty okay let's go to the next word ecstasy great happiness ecstasy rapture also means joy so remaining all words are positive but only word misery is negative word what is oily mean oily means very smooth clean and exaltation again great happiness extreme happiness there so the opposite word of ecstasy will be misery desultory pertinent debonair awkward ecstasy misery embellish so embellish means to make more attractive to decorate the meaning of adorn also has got the same meaning or garnish so the opposite word will be disfigure embellish to make more attractive but the opposite the antonym will be disfigure euphoria lot of excitement or enthusiasm and lacking that enthusiasm or excitement that's a lethargy what is stringent be stringent means very rough exhilarate exhilarate to make happy and opposite of that will be depress because invigorate means to give strength so all others are very very positive words but shabbily is also negative word not very neatly shabbily but the opposite word of exhilarate will be depress embellish disfigure euphoria lethargy and exhilarate depress exhume to dig out the body and exhume so enter that would be the opposite of the word exhume decipher to find out the meaning of that decipher from the manuscript decipher meant of that finding out the mean uh, understanding it finding out exalt exalt means praise glorify so that's what ennoble honor dignify extol praise so the opposite will be depreciate extrinsic external extrinsic and opposite of that will be be inherent what is cursory mean not detailed that's a hasty cursory so exhume enter exalt depreciate and extrinsic inherent now let us go to practice set number 4 on antonyms and after that we'll see its answers to eulogistic pretty critical brief stern free inevitable unavoidable itable habicked uncertain mutilated facsimile reproduction sincere original fact finding engineer fervent fiery arbor poisonous apathetic original fiasco camel mention pollution success gamble fluster upset disconcert arrange disobey acclaim 
abundant, fertile, infertile, prolific, transparent, harsh, felicitous, effeminate, canine, sensuous, notorious, inappropriate, glossy, slick, ventilating, dull, obscene, dedicated. Hybrid, mongrel, purebred, composite, familiar, ignorant, hypothesis, fact, theory, conclusive, suppressed, conjecture, ingenuity, skillfulness, cunning, sentimental, certain, dullness. Isolation, seclusion, segregation, association, hardihood, harshness, invincible, invulnerable, visible, wanton, ancient, conquerable, malign, disparage, slander, praise, purify, repress. Let us see the answers for practice set number four on antonyms. Eulogistic. So eulogy, you are familiar with that. Praise. Now here, that contains praise, that's eulogistic, poetry. Now critical, that would be the opposite word of that. Inevitable, unavoidable, or certain to happen. So uncertain will be the opposite word of inevitable. Facsimile. What does facsimile mean? Facsimile means copy. So it's not original one. So original will be the opposite word of facsimile. Fervent, very intense feelings. So apathetic will be the uh, right opposite. So apathetic, unconcerned. Not showing any feeling that no concern. Now fiasco, failure. The opposite natural will be success. And what is cameo means? Cameo refers to art or jewelry. Now fluster. Fluster makes something very confusing. So disarrange that. So arrange will be the opposite of fluster. Abundant. Abundant means plenty, ample, fertile. So the opposite of that will be infertile. Even prolific has got the meaning large, in plenty, prolific. Let's go to the next word. That is felicitous. And what does felicitous mean? It means very apt, very suitable, very appropriate. So the opposite of that will be inappropriate. What does effeminate mean? Womanish. Canine, that's related to dog. Notorious, infamous. Let's go to the ninth word. Glossy, shiny, stylish. That is what is the meaning of the word glossy. And what is not very shiny is dull, opposite of that. So remaining all obscene related to sex. That's a very immoral. Hybrid. Let's see the options there. Mongrel. That means crossbred. So the opposite will be purebred. Composite, familiar, ignorant. They are not the right answers. So right answer is B, purebred. Hypothesis. Opposite of that is fact. So hypothesis. Conjecture. That means imagine thing. Conjecture. Imagine something about that. Conjecture. Your imagination. Now ingenuity. Ingenuity means quality of being very clever. So dullness or very skillful, very clever. So opposite of that will be dullness. That's E, cunning, again clever. So and now certain, sure, sentimental, very emotional. So the right answer will be E, dullness. Isolation. Isolation, remaining isolated. Seclusion, again, remaining secluded away from others, segregation, separation. So the right answer will be C, association, invincible, somebody who cannot be defeated, somebody who cannot be conquered. So here the right option will be 
conquerable that's e because remaining all options you see invulnerable you are familiar with the word vulnerable very prone wanton what does wanton mean wanton means very deliberate very willful malicious now that's a wanton now here the last word that's a malign and this parish slander they are the synonyms of malign spoiling the somebody's name now here praise will be the right option c will be the right answer for malign so the opposite of malign is praise this we have come to the end of the sessions on antonyms study the list of synonyms as well as antonyms to have a powerful vocabulary thank you